Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to my Resident Evil Remake. In the last episode, we uh, did some stuff, and now we're just gonna get... Bonk. Lisa. Yes, that's Lisa's Trevor. Probably the most scary Resident Evil creature in existence. And the reason I say that is because one, she's creepy looking, and two, she is completely invincible. You cannot kill her. It is impossible to kill her. Also, there's a zombie here. Just ignore it. Um, where is he? He's somewhere around here. Yeah, there he is. Kind of walk around the tree. There you go. Because the reason you want to avoid him is because he'll be coming back here way later in the game and he'll be a crimson head and you'll have to walk through this whole path avoiding a crimson head. It's not a fun time. Just saying. Anyways, that was back to Lisa Trevor. She's invincible. You cannot kill her no matter how many rounds you put into her. She's impossible to kill. Now, um, the reason I said keep the wind crest right here is because you're actually going to use it right here. I go down this path in the graveyard. Kind of go herp derp over here. Huh? I probably should use this in a better spot than now. Because I only have one space of inventory. But whatever. Okay, now put the wind crest in here. And you get three crests. Crests are fitted. Now, since I only have two inventory spaces, I'm only going to get two. And put him in over here before I get the third one, because I'm Chris and I have low inventory space. Now, before you do that, examine them. The moon crest is an icon depicting them the moon. I go in the back. There's a, apparently a button somewhere that you need to push. I'm not sure how that works, but whatever. All right. Do that for every crest you have. This one's a star. Has a cross in the back, which doesn't make much sense, but whatever. All right. I use them. I don't know if this is exactly a puzzle, but it's really easy puzzle if it's if it is a puzzle any at all, you know. Now I get this last one. All right. But yeah, um, Lisa Trevor probably gave me the most nightmares of any Resident Evil thing ever, except for maybe Nemesis. Nemesis did give me a lot of trouble when I was a kid because mainly I'll get into it when I you know I play that game, which I will be soon. Okay, I'll put this in here, and we get the coolest item in Resident Evil. How does that make sense? Why is there a gun in a graveyard? Like, what? But I'm not gonna ask questions because we get the best gun in the game, the Magnum Revolver. Now, I'm going to back out here slowly. You know what? Screw it, I'm gonna run. Go, go. Go, go. Don't take damage. Don't take damage. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, since we have that done, the whole point of that was to get the crank. And now, uh,. Since you have that, I'm not sure. I don't think that cutscene with her activates until you get the crank. But I mean, that would kind of suck if you did all that and realize you had to get the crank and go back there and encounter her again. That would suck, like, legitimately. Okay. So now we have to do the. I call it the second portion of the game, and that is the guest house. Now, the guest house is fun, but it's also scary as crap at the same time. Like, the whole this whole section of the game, I don't like. Because it's so scary. For me. Like, for you, Bill. Oh my god, such a pussy. Herp derp. This is Brad. Come in, Star's Alpha Team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Star's Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat. This is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. This thing's broken. Excellent uh, navigating skills, Chris. Okay, now there's dogs here and they're annoying. So just spam. Ah, there's three of them? Seriously? Crap, 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 crap. Get off me. Mind caution? Yes, I am. Okay. Healing. Now, never use, the, like, like in RE0, never use the Magnum unless told otherwise. Die. Die. Did I headshot a freaking dog? I did not know you can even do that. That's epic. Wow, I never... In all my years of playing Resident Evil, I never knew you can headshot a dog. 
Well, he learns something every day, I guess. <laughs> Such a terrible person. Anyways, um, there's a bunch of herbs there. Um, with Chris, it's not really uh, necessary to get those because, well, he doesn't have the inventory space to use them. Hey, big pool! I can go swim in! Woo! Swim in! Woo! But no, seriously, we're supposed to use this crank. <laughs> I'm such a good LP, aren't I? Like legit, I'm I'm the best LP. -er. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. I don't know why I felt the need to actually make that its own cinematic, but I guess they felt like. Let's show what we can do with the GameCube Herder. We're gonna make all the money. Which is true that I bought like six copies of this game. I'm not even joking. I like, not like in the same day because I'd be retarded, but like I bought multiple copies of the game new just because I like supporting the game. Like my games would you know, my discs would scratch and other stuff and I would just buy the game again and I don't feel like I should buy it used because I don't know. I love buying games used, like <laughs> like Okay, let me explain. I like buying games used that aren't being sold anymore, in, you know, in stores. But for some reason, I also like buying games new, f not from, like, GameStop, because I hate GameStop. Call me crazy, whatever you want. I don't like GameStop. I'll be the first to say it. Mainly because their employees are always dicks to me when I'm in, I'm in their store. I'm like, I'm buying your products, and you're going to be a dick to me. Way to, way to uh, appease your customers, dude. Thanks. So I go to like, there's like this place I go to called Video Palace, um, that like sells new games, but like they buy the games and they sell them at a reduced price, which I find really admirable because it's awesome because, you know, they're, you know, they're not making much of a profit, you know, they're just kind of doing it for them, you know. Anyways, here is the guest house, probably the scariest part. A Resident Evil, in my opinion. Camera angles, they're awesome. <laughs> Alright, so here are a bunch of herbs. A bunch of blue herbs, which is nice. Take a few if you want. I'm gonna take... take a, Basically, in this game, if you mix a green, red, and blue, you get a brown herb. I think that... Was that ever introduced in Zero? Was that ever, like, done in Zero? I don't even know. Now, right off the bat, you get a save room, which is nice, because I need to drop off that magnum. Anything else in here that I can use? Ooh, another flash grenade. I like how I'm getting like a bunch of these. Cause I would that many? Two? Okay. Well, that's two instant zombie kills, which is nice. Okay, more canteen. I might actually take the canteen along with me just because this I don't need anymore. This I don't need anymore. This I don't need anymore. Basically, all I need is this right here. This stuff right here. I'm actually gonna take the canteen along because I'm gonna fill it up. About half. Okay, that's what I thought. Oops. How many daggers do I have? Okay, zero. That's fine. Okay. So now we have that. Now I have four zombie kills with me. That's nice. Okay. Now, the whole point of this, this guest house is to get another uh, key. I know what you're thinking. Another key? That's it? And yes, that's it. <laughs> like... There's nothing glorified about it. You're just getting another key. And it sucks because that's the only reason you're here. But, I mean, the key is more useful than the freaking other key, like the helmet key. It was the helmet key, by the way. No. Body armor. It was a shield key. The one that was only had one use. That was the one that was totally useless. Yes, that was... Um, it's more useful than that one, that's for damn sure. So, that's good, at least. Oh, there's bees in here, isn't there? Why do I hear bees? That's that's stupid. It's on my nerves. Frick! Stop it. Okay, let's get this map. Okay, very important here. Take the map and don't press anything after you go out of the bo the box. Get the map. Press A. There's a hole. Don't examine the wall again, because if you do, bees will come through. I think that's where I hear. I think that's where you're hearing them from. Yeah, don't do that because uh, um, bees will come through and it could be really annoying. Okay, uh, anything useful in here? Um, no, not that I know of. What's the bathroom? 
every room in here has a bathroom. And generally something bad happens in the bathroom. So, bathrooms in general are not a good place to be in horror games. What's this? See? Something happened. Something's in the, something's in the room now. I don't like that. I can't zombies open doors anyway. Seriously? There's a zombie in here now. The only reason, the only thing that, that's, the only reason that creeps me out is because, like, uh, what is it? Um, hold on, let's see what this key is first. It's because, like, zombies shouldn't be able to open doors. Like, they're not, they're stupid. They're, okay, zero, zero, 001. I was in room zero, zero, 002 just now. Okay, so it must be over by the entrance. No, but, like, I don't know. The, the fact that that creeps me out. Because usually, like, in horror movies, you see them, like, barricading doors and stuff. Because I'm really can't open doors. They can only push it open. Like, that was, like, a legitimate opening and closing of a door. Like, what? Also, the reason I push this box over here is because there is actually... If you walk over that hole, a vine will come up and, like, do damage to you. And it's, like, unnecessary damage. And it's not good. Okay, so now this is the door. This is the door I don't like. This is the door that always creeped me out when I was a kid. Or when I played this game. It still creeps me out to this day, but I'm not going to go in that. The good news is you don't have to fight any zombies. Now this is what creeped me out about it. This guy's hanging, and you actually get a note because of it in here. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Hang on, magazine. I'll take it. There's a bunch of stuff in here, actually. Get a self-defense gun. This is like a magnum, but it's a lot better than the magnum. It can pretty much kill any boss in one hit, but you only get one shot of it. So use it wisely. Suicide note. Why are the freaking notes in this game so depressing? <laughs> Seriously. And now we have to go into the bathroom. I believe there's a key in here somewhere. Hello, person. Spill dirty water. Press a plug. Okay. Something inside the bathtub. Okay. And now this is what we need to do to get to the th this ha first half of this, the first part. Oh, great. He got up. I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna snap. Wow, really? He... That's weird. Usually when you go through there, he... His... The rope breaks and he turns into a zombie. I'll take it. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but that's, weird. that's usually weird that happened. Now, we have to go back into the, the first room we were in, the control... The uh, room 002. I believe. I don't even freaking need this. Seriously. This up. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Do 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 do. Wait, fight. Well, mm, do I want to keep that? Do I have health defense items? I don't know. Do I want to keep... No, I'll leave it. I mean, it's fine. Really, the the only time you... The, you fight most of the zombies in the game in the very beginning of the game because you haven't killed any of them yet. But, like, in the later parts of the game, there really isn't that many zombies. It's more like other monsters you fight that don't come back. Oh, imagine how creepy that would be if there was, like, Crimson Hunters. Oh, that would suck so bad. Like, I would quit Resident Evil if that was the case. Like, it would burn every enemy you killed. Crimson Dogs, Crimson Everything. That would suck. Like, legitimately, that would suck balls. Alright, so there's a zombie here to avoid. Lol, avoid. <laughs> and I have to push these bookcases in a certain order, which is uh, really weird. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Push it. Stupid zombie is stupid, lol. Alright. 
Get this bookcase and calm down. <laughs> that was the best whatever. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out, the whole bookcases thing. I think it mentions it something in one of the files. Alright. This place is relatively cool, actually. I like it a lot. It's called the Aqua Ring. There's a bunch of... There's a box puzzle, much like Resident Evil Zero, except it's a lot easier. Basically, all you have to do is push these boxes into the water. I'm dead serious. That's all you have to do. No switching characters, no, you know, doing freaking anything like that. It's as simple as pushing these three boxes into the water. Isn't that awesome? Now, it's actually a lot easier than in the original one, the original Resident Evil game, because in the original, it was all the way back in the first turn. Yeah, so it was a lot, it was really, really annoying then, but now it's okay. Like this box, here, let me show you, like, give you an example. This box right here was all the way down here. So it was like really, really, really frustrating because like you had to freaking push it. Because if you pushed it forward, it would just go into the corner of the wall and you can't pull anything in this game. So it would be really, 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 really annoying. But yeah. I like when you're, when these, how these boxes are so big that you can't even see yourself pushing them. Like if you, it's like the camera angle, it looks like the box is like moving by itself. It's funny. Like, hold on, look. Camera change. Do it. Do it. There. So it looks like the box is pushing itself. It's funny. Alright, there we go. Box puzzle complete. Not too tough. Alright, so let's get this herb right here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright. That's not good. Water is never good. Water is never a good thing in horror. Ever, never, ever, ever, ever will be. Richard! Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard. I'm not gonna lie, what the hell was he doing? Like, seriously? Okay, now, ow. Now there is a way to get Richard's gun, but I'm not sure how to do it. You know what? Hold on, I have a better idea. Oh wow, I'm really far away, holy crap. Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna wait until, uh... Brick, brick, brick go. Use the control room key. Now he has a gun that he used. Now I don't know if you have to wait until the aqua ring clears to use it to get it. I hope you don't. I hope that I hope you can get it whenever. But it's the assault shotgun. It's a lot more powerful. It has it called 10, 10 rounds instead of uh, just six, which is nice. Ooh, first aid box. I didn't really explain these. First aid box is basically what they are, is they're either a combination of an herb and or a first aid spray. I'll just examine it. It's basically an excuse to pick up herb mixes, essentially. See so two green herbs, and now I can combine it with this green herb, get a full one. Nice. Alright. So let's get this map really fast. Yes. So complicated. Alright. Okay, so what does this say? Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve number two. Keep that in mind. Make sure when you're doing this, you know. So now these fish bastards are gonna pay for eating Richard. So let's uh, let's uh, get rid of the water. The drain and switch the water. Do it. Okay. Wow. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Okay. Um. Basically, what you have to do is uh, you have to do it in this order. Release the safety. Turn around here, shut the valve or the shut the pre valves open. Like do this, but of course, in a Resident Evil game, something goes wrong. Oil pressure allowed. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. So now, remember that thing? It said something about uh, valve numbers. Hit two, and I'll just repeat the process again. You only have to do it once, so it's fine. This is one of those like puzzles that I hate because it's so like it's you're so like um, under pressure, but it isn't that hard, honestly. And you did it. That's all I had to do. 
Now, if you reach 100% critical, then you game over. But I'm not gonna show that because I don't feel like it. Pressure from least. Yes, drain the water because freaking sharks are assholes. Just saying. Okay. Now that that's done and over with, let's go and see what happened with the fishes. By the way, I apologize for this episode being a little bit longer, but eh. I'm sure you guys don't mind. Okay. Now, there's something in here I think you can use. Yes, yeah, shotgun shells. I'll take them. I'm getting a bunch of those. Wait, what did I say? Materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked behind... Well, isn't that convenient? Oh, wheels. <sighs> okay. So, let's go in here. Hello, fishy. Ow. Ooh, here it is. Yes, the assault shotgun. That's Richard's weapon. Sucks for Richard that he, you know, went nom nom on the shark, but eh, they. He was kind of dumb for coming here. How the hell did he even get here? Hello, Neptune. But this is called Neptune, by the way. This is, um, optional boss fight. Um, there are three ways to kill him. One, using your shotgun on him. Well, here, let me show you. Let me get this key first. Alright, there are three ways to fight Neptune. One, using the shotgun on him. Boring. Two, using the self-defense gun on him. Stupid and boring. Three, pushing this thing in. And pressing on. Creative and fun. Alright. So. We just had fish fry for dinner. Yummy. Yay. yay. Okay. So we have that. Residency. I don't know why it looks so different. Whatever. It's fine. Alright. So now we have that. Uh... Let's see, we're pretty much done with this area. Um, pretty much done with the Alka Ring. Hello. I can shoot you, but that's a waste of ammo, honestly. Like, screw you, seriously. You're not worth my time. Okay. So now, let's go. I'm gonna go back to the residence safe room, and then I'll call it an episode. Now, if you look, if you look here, there's actually, um, frick, there's magnum bullets here, but I can't grab them. You know what, I'll use my healing item, I don't even care. I think I have enough healing items anyway right now, so I, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so now let's go back to the safe room, and then we I'll call it an episode. Alright. Yep, and now this brings us back to the original box room, which now we can't even use anymore because uh, the water's drained, as you can see. Water's gone. Can't use it anymore. Okay. So now let's go back out, and we'll um, end the episode off. I dodge a zombie again. Crap. That's fine. He's pretty stupid, if I remember correctly. Wow, really? Really? Wow! You're that dumb, dude. Like, legit? This game, man, has the best AI. Okay. Right, let's go back to the safe room, and I'll call it a video. That was funny as shit. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Do, do, do. Fuck that hole, by the way. Alright. So now we've gone here. I'm going to call it an episode here. I'm probably going to call it a recording session. Well, no, I really want to record this whole game in one sitting, but man, that's going to be a long time. Yeah, I'm going to call it uh, at least an episode right now. So, this is Fury Rising signing off of Resident Evil Remake. Thank you all very much for watching. Ooh, I have so many shotgun shells. That's super sexy. And I have like six in here, right? Yeah, six. Yeah, um. 
Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be using this last residence key, and we'll see what goes on in the rest of this guest house here, right? Oops. <laughs> see you guys then.